Hello everyone, I'm Dan Smith, I'm the developer behind the Spectrum Retreat. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of the opening sequence of the game and explain some of the things that are going on. So the Spectrum Retreat is a first person puzzle game set in the near future. You work in the Penrose Hotel, not sure of why you're there, how you got there, or how you're going to get out. Hello? Hello? If you can hear this, hide your phone now. Now, hide your phone right now. The device you have, it's not just a phone, it's... Look, this is hard to explain quickly. Um, you'll be able to absorb and exchange certain colors. I don't know how that must sound. Things should make sense when you're in there. Good luck, I'll be waiting. So the Spectrum Retreat is all about colour, the core mechanic of the game is about swapping colours with the cubes you see in the environment. Uh, at the start of the game you are given this device that you hold in your hand that is capable of storing one colour at a time and when you hold that colour you can bypass any shield of the same colour. Um, it's a very simple intuitive mechanic but as we go on we add more mechanics in, we use them in more interesting ways and the difficulty slowly ramps up as the game progresses. The device you have has unlimited range but you can only interact with cubes that you can see and you can only interact with cubes that don't already have the same colour that you hold. A big part of the challenge of the game is memorising where you put different colours, figuring out what order to arrange colours in in order to progress through the gates and quite a mainstay of the puzzle is a sequence of gates all with their own colour and so you have to order the colours correctly outside of the gates so that they're there when you need them. At the end of every puzzle you'll reach one of these pods that will take you to the next one. Once you've solved all the puzzles on any given floor in the hotel, you will unlock access to the next one as your device downloads the credentials to access it. Something I really wanted to do with this game was explore two very distinct aesthetics and find a way to combine the two of them. Obviously we've got the Art Deco hotel environment which is very classical, it's very colourful. And we also have the more clinical puzzle environment. Um, we needed a really desaturated look for the puzzle environment so that the colour elements could really pop. Uh, when you walk into a puzzle room you should be able to quickly identify which things are important to you progressing and which parts are just part of the environment. Um, at the same time, we don't want to just make a grayscale, we want to keep it interesting. And I think this really hyper-modern, hyper-clinical look complements the Art Deco, fancy, thrills uh, environment in the hotel. And there are certain elements in the game, certain parts of the game, where you get to see those kind of leak into each other. And I think it was a really interesting um, and quite unique aesthetic to look at. Something else I wanted to explore with this game was having quite a unique uh, gameplay and narrative structure. Uh, the way the narrative is structured in comparison to the gameplay with respect to the gameplay is quite unique in that we don't have um, 
just chaining puzzles. Obviously, a lot of puzzle games, you just do one puzzle after another, and then eventually the game ends. Um, what we do have is somewhat of a hub world in the hotel that links all the puzzles together, but it's more than just a hub world. It's, it's also a gameplay space, and it's also a very involved space as far as the narrative is concerned. And it's almost like playing two different games when you're in them, but your progress in the puzzles un unlocks areas in the hotel, and your progress in the hotel will get give you access to new puzzles. So it's this kind of relationship between the two types of gameplay that's really important. As I mentioned before, progressing through the puzzles eventually will unlock new floors and new areas of the hotel, which is going to be essential. But at the same time, you're not going to be able to get to these new puzzles until you solve puzzles that exist within the environment of the hotel that are very different um, to the color puzzles that we see here. So it's two very um, different styles of gameplay, but I think it provides quite a nice relief from just constant puzzle solving that can be quite intensive and quite... Um, headache inducing at times if you're finding it really difficult so it's nice to introduce these kind of changes of pace quite often um, and let you kind of get really invested into what is a really interesting and involved narrative and doing that in a way that doesn't disturb the thought process that you go through when you're trying to just solve puzzles. So the puzzles you're watching in this video are the first five puzzles of the game. Like I said, there's no explicit tutorial, but the idea with these puzzles is to introduce a mechanic to you in quite an organic way, and hopefully by the time you finish them, regardless of whether you find them challenging or not, you're ready to take on the rest of the game. As we introduce new mechanics, a, a similar approach is taken, so they're drip-fed to you, they're introduced slowly and organically, and the puzzles just increase in complexity at a gradual rate that is hopefully manageable, but I quite like this way of, of introducing puzzles without a tutorial and just letting you try them, and there are no reaction based puzzles, there are no timing based puzzles, uh, no physics involved, so your ability to uh, move the mouse or the analog stick really quick isn't going to determine how good you are at this game, it's your ability to sit back and think about the puzzle in front of you and then just carry it out. The actual execution of it is not the skill that's required here.
So that's about all we have to show you right now. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, if you do like the look of the Spectrum Retreat, you can pick it up this summer. It's on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. And if you do play on PC, you can head over to Steam now and wishlist it already. So thanks for watching. I will leave you with one last look at the Penrose Hotel. Welcome back, and based on what I can see here, well done. Let me be all right in there. Right now, everything's powered down until the next cycle. The only way to reset it is to return to your quarters, your, your room, and sleep. This place, this place is built around you. I can't say any more until you see it for yourself, but we will get you out of here, whatever it takes. Get some rest. We'll speak tomorrow.